Hey guys, Tsunami here. What's going on? Happy Thursday. Um, today I got my shipment of the Dragon Majesty Elite Trainer Box, which I've been long been waiting for. I don't know why I didn't pick it up to begin with, um, but I found a good deal on it and I jumped the gun. Uh, so uh, I got the package today. I uh, also got some tins. Uh, I've got the Sylveon and Glaceon tins. Uh, so I'll be unboxing those. Um, what else do I got? That's pretty much it, but I just wanted to uh, <coughs> yeah, Hellbringer. I'll, I'll get you some codes from these boxes I, I uh, get here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you can't hear me. Uh, let's see. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely be um, unboxing those. I'm trying to get to finally build a deck around um, something I saw online that kind of piqued my interest. Uh, it was based off the structure deck. I, I forgot what it's called, but it's the uh, the one with Empoleon, the total command. Um, found the meta, or I found a deck online, and uh, it seems pretty straightforward. Um, so I want to try it out at my local tourney this weekend. I'm just trying to get the cards for it. Um, I guess I should have, you know, looked at none of my locals around me have the singles, so it's a little hard for me to pick those up. So I think I'm just going to have to order them um, on TCG Player or something like that. But um, I'll get started. Uh, kind of want to save the Elite Trainer Box for last. Here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I'll save that for last. So, we got the Sil or Glaceon and the Sylveon. Pretty cool tins. I don't know what their effects are, so I'm going to go with the Sylveon first. Um, so I'm going to do these ones. Now, I do need Glaceon out of the... Uh, for the deck I'm trying to build. I need two, but when I was ordering... I mostly get my cards from Amazon, um, as they've been pretty fair with their prices. Um, a little bit cheaper than retail, but um, if it, you know, I get the two-day shipping on it uh, if you got the Prime. And uh, when, when I was ordering them, I saw they have a picture of Glaceon on the, you know, the their photo for that particular listing and I thought it was going to be Glaceon tins but it was random so they sent me one Sylveon and one Glaceon luckily they sent me a Glaceon because I, I would have been pretty pissed if I got the Le Leafeon I don't know what it does or if it's any good but uh, I'm sure I'd definitely get it for my collection at some point but uh, uh Here's the Glaceon GX. Very pretty card. Let's pop her out. There's a code. Oh, we got two codes. Look at that. So let's see what this girl does. Or boy. Uh, one fairy energy, magical ribbon. Search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's actually pretty good. Uh, second attack, Fairy Wind. One Fairy, two double colorless. Um, no effect. Base damage is 110. And then it's her, uh, or it's GX move. Put two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and all cards attached to them into your opponent's hand. That's pretty awesome. Definitely a good card. Might have to see if there's any decks around that. Uh, 
Let's get to the packs. So it comes with four packs. Uh, these are, looks like from the older sets. Oh, well, Celestial Storm's pretty new, so I shouldn't say that. But it does come with uh, Crimson Invasion, one Crimson Invasion, one XY Roaring Skies, and two Celestial Storm packs. So that's what you can expect out of this tin. I'll start with the older set. Now I do need N, the supporter card. I only have one copy. I'd like to get some more, you know. So hopefully I will pull one. That would be fantastic if I did. Alright, so here we go. Pikachu. Fletchling. Execute. Bagon. Swablu. Cascoon is our reverse hollow. And look at that. Mega Latios EX. Oh, it's shiny. That's cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's purple. Very neat. It's just got one move here. Doesn't do any damage. Let's see. Uh, requires water, one water, one psychic, and one uh, colorless energy. Discard two energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 120 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Pretty straightforward card. Uh, just pretty much a tank at that point. Very cool though. I like the art on this. I like the art on the uh, Mega Evolutions. Mega Evolution cards. They're really cool. Uh, Manetric. Trainer's Mail. Executor. Darn. No N. Oh well. And here's the Crimson Invasion. Now I think, um, I was looking at them. Uh, Amazon's got the Crimson Invasion Elite Trainer Box for only like 25 bucks the last time I checked. Which is pretty darn good considering what these Elite Trainer Boxes come with. Um, so I might be picking that one up pretty soon. Not too sure what's worthwhile in that set, but uh, I will be getting it just because. <laughs> so we've got Weedle, Mincino, Corfish, Gas. Oh, that's a cool Ghastly art. I like that. Aaron, Devoured Field. The attacks of Dark Pokemon and Dragon Pokemon, both yours and your opponent, do 10 more damage to the opponent's active Pokemon. Cool. So this is probably more geared towards like Hydrogeton or that Dragon lineup. Camper up. Camera up. Steel Ener Metal Energy. Chinchino. Chinchino, however you say its name. Haunter. Zwellus. So not anything great out of that pack, but I'll take it. Got a Celestial Storm here. big on he's so happy <laughs> Bellsprout Fanfy Clamperl Skitty Pokenav what's this look at the top three cards of your deck you may reveal a Pokemon or energy card you find there and put it into your hand put the other cards back in any order straightforward card Macargo, Fairy Energy, Shrine of Punishment, Acrobike, Super Scoop Up. What is this? This art looks way really familiar. That's cool. Flip a coin if heads, put one of your Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your hand. 
I don't know why you would want to do that. I guess if you're looking for a way to retreat. I'm trying to make space. I don't know. Last pack from this tin. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Voltorb. Slugma. Surskit. Sneasel. Shuppet. Mawile. It's a reverse hollow there. Reggie Ice. Fire Energy. Energy Switch. Rainbow Brush. And Apricorn Maker. Search your deck for up to two item cards that have the word ball in their name. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. That's a pretty cool card. I could get behind using that. So out of this tin, not the best, but I think I've had worse pulls. Um, let's highlight here what we pulled, or at least all the foils. Here's that Mawile. The Pokenev. Devoured Field. Cascoon. The Mega Latios EX. Very cool card. And of course, the tin card Sylveon GX. So let's open up the Glaceon tin. There's the tin. Still sealed. Got all the plastic around it. That's a pretty card too. Glaceon GX. Let's pull this out. Am I gonna get lucky with two? No, they only sent one. Darn. Alright, so let's see why people are running this card in that deck. Ability, freezing gaze. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX in play in their hand and in their discard pile have no abilities except for freezing gaze that's pretty cool actually um, frost bullet uh, one water energy two double colorless base 90 damage this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench pokemon nice and then it's gx attack this attack does 50 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active pokemon that's pretty good. Cool. Yeah, I can see why they want to use this. Um, they're also using the new Eevee. Well, I, I don't know if it's new, but uh, they actually have it at McDonald's, and I do have the Eevee card too. Let me show the case that real quick. Very cool card. I felt a little weird going into McDonald's asking for Pokemon cards. But, I did get a toy out of it, and it's got this really cool, like, circular, not even circular, uh, it probably looks circular on the camera, but it's more, uh, like, geometric, it's kind of like prismatic, or it's got, like, squares, but the foil is very, very cool, um, and I'm assuming they're using this combination in this deck because of its ability energy evolution when you attach a basic energy card from your hand to this pokemon during your turn you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this pokemon that is the same type as that energy card and put it onto this pokemon to evolve it then shuffle your deck so it's a great uh searching card um and then you can evolve it i would assume first turn as soon as you play this card you can evolve it so that's pretty sweet 
So that definitely sets up plays a lot quicker. So this is a cool card. I don't know how long they're at McDonald's is doing that promotion for. Um, I don't. I didn't really check out the other cards that they are offering. This is the only one that piqued my interest. Um, I don't really care for collecting any of the toys or anything like that. But uh, if you're at McDonald's and you want to get this card, see if it, your local McDonald's has it. Try to find it. Very cool card. All right. So let's go to the packs. Assuming there's four packs in here still. One Celestial Storm, two Celestial Storm, Crimson Invasion, and Roaring Skies. So, same packs. So I'll start off with the XY Roaring Skies. Okay, let's see. Meowth. Shuppet. Oh, that's a cool art. <laughs> it almost looks like little... You know, when you go to, like, the Carnival or Six Flags, they have all those little animals you can play. To, or you play those little carny games to win a an stuffed animal. That's kind of what it looks like. That's funny. Oh, jeez. I uh, got Gligar. Voltorb. Dunsparce. Silcoon. Hey, look at that. And what is this? Winona. Very cool. Full art. Super shiny. Super foily. I gotta do it every time I see one of these cards. It's like you're you're wearing corduroys. <laughs> Awesome. Man, maybe I should pick up these Roaring Skies packs. Seems like these are the way to go. Steven. And Silcoon again. Oh. Silcoon and Rayquaza Spirit Link. Oh, for the Mega Rayquaza. Cool. Crimson Invasion. Oh, it's that Buzzwall guy that's on the cover here. That's like in every single meta right now, as far as standard is concerned, that from what I saw. So maybe we can have our luck and pull one. We got Cubone, Weedle. Minchino, Corfish, that cool ghastly art, Alolan Geodude, <laughs> he looks so sad, poor guy, he's hiding, Primate, Fighting Energy, Dashing Pouch, what does this do, the Pokemon this card is attached to is attached to discards energy for its retreat cost. Put that energy into your hand instead of the discard pile. Cool. Ah. Psychic memory. Savali. I have no idea what that is. Pillow swine. All right, got two packs left. Celestial storm. Dig into the first one. What's going on, viewers? What's going on out there? How's everybody doing? I know it's pretty late. Eh, it's late for me. I usually go to bed. What time? It's like almost. It's 9:30 Central Time. I usually go to bed around 9 o'clock. I wake up pretty early for work, so. All right, Trico. Voltorb, Sneasel, C Dot, Gulpin, Whismur. I like these cards, the ones where they're crocheted. 
little dolls. And it's very cool. I don't know if you guys can see it. Kind of hard to see, but they're like crocheted little forms of the Pokemon. And it's pretty neat. And hey, look at that. Electro GX. Man, he looks cool. see his ability is extra energy bomb once during your turn before you attack you may attach five energy cards from your discard pile to your pokemon except pokemon gx ex or ex in any way you like if you do this pokemon is knocked out hey that's kind of worth it um first attack uh, electro ball one energy one uh, electric energy one colorless 50 damage and then the GX, same energy cost. It's 30 plus. Discard any amount of energy from your Pokemon. This attack does 50 more damage for each card you discard it in this way. Cool. We got a Dark Energy, Tropius, and Hiker, and Energy Switch. So far, I've pulled none of the trainer cards that I need. What the hell? Alright, last pack from this tin. Get Trico, Skitty, Spinarak, Bagon. Another, oh cool, different art Bagon. Fan fee in the reverse hollow. Oh man, I was kind of hoping there was going to be another hollow there. Septile, cool. This is the one that comes with that structure deck. Underground expedition. Minior. Minior? This is definitely a new Pokemon. I don't remember ever seeing this thing. Meteor Pokemon. Definitely from the Sun and Moon series. And Combuskin to round out that tin. Alright, so let's review. Got the sweet, sweet Glaceon GX. Main card from the tin. Verse Hollow Fanfi. Electro GX. Very cool card. Whismer, Alolan Geodude, Winona, Full Art, and she's got a pretty good, you know, ability, or I should say effect. Search your deck for up to three colorless I, I should say normal Pokemon. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So, definitely a good search card for anyone running any normal type decks. And Silcoon. So, I wouldn't say it was the best tins I've opened, but definitely pretty good. Can't complain. All right, moment of truth. Ta-da! The box that I've been wanting since pretty much I got back into this whole Pokemon thing. It's a sweet box. I love the color scheme. Um, the sleeves are sweet. Um, so with this one, this is the Dragon Majesty set. So you get 10 packs in this set, and you get the promo card as well. So this one typically runs $50 instead of the normal $40 uh, because it comes with the card and two extra packs. Otherwise, it comes with the normal stuff. It comes with the sleeves, the dividers, um, the energy pack, the dice, and whatnot. So 
but let's pop into this bad boy. Hopefully I can pull something great. I don't know if anyone saw my Dragon Majesty Super Premium Collection uh, unboxing. If you haven't watched that, you should definitely check it out on my YouTube channel. Um, I was a little disappointing with that pull. So I'm hoping this is a little bit of a redemption. <laughs> As always, uh, with these Elite Trainer boxes, you get somewhat of a, what they call a player's guide. Um, it gives you an idea of what's, what you can expect in this set. So here's the cards that you can possibly pull. They kind of highlight all the ones that are, I guess, you know, good in this set. I don't know how great they are, but like this page gives you uh, different combos you can do. So you can kind of go about doing that. Try to build a deck around that. Which is kind of cool. Gives you new ideas to build a deck. Especially for somebody like me, just coming pretty fresh back into the game so and then this is the uh, Dragon Majesty card list so these are all the cards that you can possibly pull from the set and I'm hoping there's a good chance I can pull I want that Lance card this one right here the Lance Prism card no idea what it does. I just Lance is Lance is a badass. That's what I want. That's why I want it. But the uh, full art GX cards are pretty cool. Definitely like those. And then I mean, it wouldn't be bad if I pulled these uh, Ultra Necrozma GX. That's the gold card. <laughs> it's like a full solid gold. All right, let's dig in. So here's the box. And I have a ton of cardboard. And it seems like they've been designing the boxes a little bit differently. Um, I've noticed that. It, it seems like as they add more, or as they keep coming out with more sets, They've uh, added more cardboard that's nicely, uh, I guess you could say, packaged. Because before they were kind of just, the packs were, and all the goodies that are inside were just kind of thrown in there. Uh, but it looks like this cardboard piece, you know, keeps everything nice and uniformly in the box. So nothing really shifts around during shipment. <laughs> so here are the 10 packs. Let's count them. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll get to you guys later. Here are the card dividers. And I love this color scheme. I've said it probably in every video I've done. I'm a huge fan of purple. It's one of my favorite colors. And this is just kind of like an 80s vibe color scheme to, to me. And if you guys watch my uh, game streams, I've got kind of like a 80s theme for my overlay. And I, I love it. So I'll highlight a little bit more on those later. This is the energy pack they give you. There's 45 cards in here. Um, so I'm assuming that's what, uh, five of each energy, if I'm not mistaken. So this is, these elite trainer boxes are great for somebody that's coming back into the game, uh, wants to f build a deck. They have all the, pretty much every energy that you're going to need. Um, so I mean, 
pick up two of these elite trainer boxes and you're pretty good to go as far as energy is concerned. Here is the promo card you get. It is the Naga Nadel. Now, I don't know this Pokemon too well. It appears he's an Ultra Beast. Now, I went to the... Um, I think it was two weeks ago. Went to the Lost Thunder like pre-release that my local attorney was doing, and I pulled one of I pulled this card, not this particular one, but Naga Nadell out of that set, and it was a really good card. Um, it helped me win a couple of my games. So I'm assuming he's a really good Pokemon. Uh, and which reminds me, Lost Thunder drops tomorrow, so that's exciting. I'll definitely try to score some packs uh, from that set. Uh, but it's first attack, colorless, one colorless energy, 20 times is the damage, beast raid. <laughs> this attack does 20 damage for each of your ultra beasts in play. Uh, second attack, jet needle, one psychic, two double colorless, 110. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. And then it's GX move, three double, or three colorless. Both players shuffle their prize cards into their decks. Then each player puts the top three cards of their deck face down as their prize cards. <laughs> so that's pretty good, man. Um, that's great for your opponent. If you're trying to... If your opponent's got two, two or less, I would say, prize cards... You could really screw them over with that GX move. Because now they have to get three. If they're trying to win by GX. Or, uh, I'm sorry, by prize card. That's pretty cool. I like that. Here are these sleeves. Man, these sleeves are sweet. I'm totally using these sleeves. For my deck. Those are awesome. And here are the GX token along with the burn and poison tokens. And these are made of acrylic. So they, they're they pretty thick. I would say it's about an eighth inch thick. On each one. Oh, I wasn't going to open them because I have a bunch of these and I'd like to keep them sealed, but there's a slit in the side of this one. Okay. So, here you can get a better look. So, it's pretty thick. And they're made of acrylic. So, I don't know if you guys get like the structure decks. They just come with cardboard ones, and you know, those are flimsy, easy to lose, easy to bend, tear. I hate those things, but I get it. But it's nice that, you know, they're thinking about value here. And, you know, you're spending a decent amount of money on these boxes. And it's nice that they kind of give you a premium accessory for it. You know, it's, like I said, it's acrylic, so it's not going to bend. You're not going to, it'll probably scratch pretty easily. But I don't think you'll ever lose these. <laughs> You won't lose them, and you won't definitely, like, tear them or anything like that. I mean, I'm sure, like, I'm trying to put pressure on it to show you how much it flexes. Not much, but, yeah, these are nice. I like these a lot. And last but not least, the dice. I will be using these dice, so I'm going to open these. Because, once again, I love the color scheme. It's a fantastic color scheme, in my opinion, and... I cannot wait to bust these out. So it's got purple etching, if you will, and the uh, main block is the pink, and then uh, it's the opposite for the big die. So these are just for your counters, and this is for your heads or tails, or I guess you can do whatever you want with them, but I'll give you seven, three small ones, three 12 millimeter ones, and one 16 millimeter. So that's that. Okay, let's get to the packs. 
super anxious about the packs. Super anxious. First pack. It's got a Rashiram on it. Oh yeah, these are much op easier to open than the ones I was trying to open from that super premium collection. Jeez, those things were like glued shut. I was having a really hard time with those ones. First card, Dratini. Kangaskhan. Litten. Horsey. Torchic. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! First pack, and I get it. Hell yeah. This is what I wanted, baby. <laughs> I'm excited. Sweet, sweet, sweetness. So, Lance, what do you do? I haven't really looked into this card. Um, Prism Star Rule. You can't have more than one Prism card with the same name in your deck. If a Prism card would go to the discard pile, put it in the Lost Zone instead. <laughs> All right. That's something new. You can play this card only if one of your Pokemon has, was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Search your deck for up to two... Is that two? Yeah. Two Dragon Pokemon and put them into your... Put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. That's a badass card, man. Uh, <clears throat> so it says two Dragon Pokemon, so... I, it doesn't say basic, so I would imagine you can just pull a Kingdra or Dragonite. Oh, I'm excited. Ko Kamo O. Kamo O. I hate this guy. <laughs> can never say his name right. Zygarde. Cedra. And our Manitan. Oh man, I am so stoked. I don't even care what's in these uh, packs. Or the rest of these packs. I don't care. I got the card I wanted. <laughs> Alright. We got Whooper. Why Whooper? I have no idea. Why is it in this set? I thought this set was about dragons. Why? Get out of here, dude. Swablu. Oh, that's pretty cute. Salandit. Charmander. Wishy Washy. That's a new Pokemon. Reverse Litten. Uh oh. White Kyurem. Ky Kyurem? GX. That's a sweet card, too. Man, this is a good box. I already pulled a Prism card and a GX, which means the rest of the packs are garbage. So let's see. Let's go through his attacks. Uh, one H or 190 HP. <laughs> First attack is Shred. One Fire Energy. Does 40 damage. This, attack, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Second attack, Raging Blade, uh, one fire energy, one water energy, one colorless, uh, 80 plus. If this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, this attack does 80 more damage. And then it's uh, GX move, <laughs> two fire energy, one water, one colorless, and it does 200. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and paralyzed. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. See if there's any good value for that card. Dark Energy, Swift Draft, Heat More, Quagsire. Again, I don't know why it's in this set. It's kind of odd. Very odd. <clears throat> Alright, 
pack number three. Totodile. Bagon. Man, I've seen like four different Bagon arts tonight. That's pretty cool though. Horsey. Trutini. Vibrava. Blaine's Last Stand. What do you do? You can play this card only when it is the last card in your hand. Draw two cards for each fire Pokemon you have in play. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. So if you have five fire Pokemon, you can have ten cards. Draw ten cards. That's pretty sweet. And I got a Charizard. I believe I already pulled one, but Charizard, still one of my favorite Pokemon. He's amazing. Nice. Fighting Energy, Wella Volcano Park, Charmeleon, Oops. and Fion. Pack number four. Magikarp, Jang Mo O, Litten, Swablu. <laughs> that art is hilarious. <laughs> Trap Inch. Nice. Hollow Fairy Energy. And another Zekrom. This is probably my like eighth one. Dragonair. Combuskin. Shogun. Pack number five. Kangaskhan. Horsey. Corsola. Darumica. Phoebus. Torchic is our reverse foil. And Hydrogeton. Hydragon. I don't know why I always want to say Hydrogeton. Hydragon. Nice. Ability is weed out. Once during your turn before your attack, you may choose three of your bench Pokemon, then discard your other bench Pokemon. Okay, I can see that. If you want to make some room for adding more Pokemon to your bench, I can see that. Nice. Metal Energy, Drampa. Turtonator. That's an odd looking Pokemon. Three Fire Energies, Explosive Jet, 50 times. Discard any amount of Fire Energy from your Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage for each card you discarded in this way. Fiery Flint. You can play this card only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Search your deck for up to four fire energy cards. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Nice. All right. Ooh, I like that setup. Look at that. Dragonite, Salamence, Dragonite, Salamence, Dragonite. Five packs. Come on, baby. Give me, give me the gold card. Then that would be amazing. All right, Vibrava, Magikarp, Jang Mo O, Litten, Swablu, Hey, Hollow, or Foil. Dark Energy, and Kyurem, just the regular one, non-GX, sweet, I always have to say his name slowly, I don't know, it's just hard for me to get his name out, Kyurem, Kyurem, Pack number six. Oh, 
Oh, this is seven. I'm sorry. Trapinch. Kangaskhan. Horsey. Corsola. Darumica. Hakamo. Oh. Hakamo. Oh. Flames Last Stand. Metal Energy. Fiery Flint. Hey, Melodic. That's cool. I don't think I pulled this one yet. And it's Shogun. Pack number eight. Phoebus. <laughs> Let's see. Its ability is submerge. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks, both yours and your opponents. Hakamo O. Wishy Washy. Charmander. Bagon. Fion is our reverse hollow. And Kamo O is the hollow. Fire Energy, Dru Drudigon, Drudigon, Salazel, Zygarde. Pack number nine. Swablu, Torchic, Vibrava, Tritini, Salandit. Oh, Victini Prism. Cool. I think I have this one. Hey, thanks, Magatu. Thanks for the biddies. <laughs> Look at that. You're on the leaderboard now. You're in first place. Victini Prism. Two fire. It's just got one move. Uh, two fire energy. Infinity. 20 times. This attack does 20, 20 damage for each basic energy card in your discard pile. Then shuffle those cards into your deck. <laughs> so he's kind of a one hit, and then do something with him. Uh, Gyarados. Cool. I think I pulled him. Cedra, Dermanitan, Switchraft. All right, folks. Last pack. Last pack of the evening. Whooper, get the hell out of here. Jing Mo O, Horsey, Dratini, Totodile, another Dratini, uh, Reverse Foil, and yeah, Salamans GX. Look at that. I believe I already have one too. So this would be my second one. Grass Energy. Heatmore. Quagsire. Wella Volcano Park. This was a good box. I wouldn't I wanna say this was probably my best pulls uh, from these Elite Trainer boxes. Um not, not only because I got the card that I wanted, but it, just in general, I think this was probably my best pull. So let's take a review of what I pulled here. Salamence GX, Reverse Dratini, um, just the art, and I had regular foil Gyarados, Prism Victini, Kamo'o, Fion, Blaine's Last Stand, Hakamo. Oh. <laughs> Hakamo O. Kyurem. Dark Energy. Hydragon. Torchic. Zekrom. Fairy Energy. Charizard. 
Blaine's Last Stand, Litton, White Kyurum, GX, Kmo O, and Lance. Oh man, that's awesome. That is awesome. Definitely worth uh, what I paid for it. Um, I'll go over the uh, other items that you get in the box as well. So, one more time just in case nobody's got a chance to view the live stream yet. I'm just trying to. What the hell? Why do you want this? Here are the sleeves, once again. Each of these Elite Trainer boxes come with 65 of whatever art sleeves, you know, whatever the theme is for that particular box. Oops. So, very, very cool sleeves. I want to use these for sure. This is the promo card that it comes with. Naga... Nagan... Naganadel. These names are getting wilder and wilder, I tell you. So Naganadel GX seems like a pretty powerful card. Um, so that's probably worth grabbing, picking up just for the card itself. So uh, here are the box dividers. So they're just dividers. The, these are double sided. Not all of them are double sided, but these ones are. So you just put them in the box that it came with just to split up your cards, just to help you organize your cards. Here are the dice. Count them. You got six 12 millimeter dice and then one tw uh, 16 millimeter die. And they usually theme the die, the dice color based upon the box set that you're getting, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to keep it a little cohesive. And then here are those tokens. There's the burn damage, poison, and then the GX plate or GX marker. So I think right now, I, I picked this set up for 35 on Amazon. I'm pretty sure the price is still the same on there right now. So, I mean, to me, I think it was definitely worth it. Um, so I definitely recommend you guys, anybody watching, just go to Amazon if you're looking for cards, pick that set up. It seems like a really good set. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else really going on. Like I said, I'm trying to go to attorney on Saturday. I'm trying to build a deck to go there. I don't know if I have all the cards I need. I'm, like I said, I may have to uh, pick them up from T TCG Player, all the single cards. Most of them are just the trainer cards. Um, like I have one of each, but the deck plays like a four copies so a play set and of course my local none of my locals have it i think i'm gonna have to try to find a bigger local with more experienced players um just so that 
maybe they have extras on them that I can maybe trade for or whatnot. So, but yeah, that's it. Uh, those were the two tins. Dragon Majesty Elite Trainer Box. Highly recommend it. Pick it up. Got some amazing pulls out of it. Um, I don't know what's next. Uh, Lost Thunder comes out tomorrow. So I'll definitely want to check that out. Um, so um, thanks for tuning in, guys. As always, uh, I'm going to upload this onto YouTube. So go find my YouTube channel. I have it linked in my profile or in my uh, panels down there on Twitch. So click on it, like some videos, subscribe to me. Um, any donations or anything like that, it's it's all going back towards this whole streaming experience. So I want to give back to the community and all you great people. Um, so thanks a lot. I'll catch you later. Have a good night.